Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in this bag and how you can use it to get more out of your tennis sessions. Let's check it out. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ashley Neves and I create tennis content for coaches, players and parents to get more out of the sport. As well as reviewing cool tennis products, I also make a lot of video tennis lessons. So if you fancy seeing some of my older videos or some of my future ones, consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, today's video is all about getting more out of your training sessions. And when I say getting more out of your sessions, I mean physically. As tennis players, we know how important explosive strength is, especially in the legs. We need to be able to accelerate really quickly as well as slowing down. We need to be able to change direction quickly as well as staying nice and low at all times. Legs are vital for us not only to move around the court, but to generate any power on our shots too. Training legs in the gym is fantastic. Doing compound moves like deadlifts and squats is really good for your overall body strength. However, as tennis players, we do also need to train specific moves. And there's nothing better for tennis players than playing tennis. Practicing your ready position, your split step, your open stance forehand, your neutral stance backhand, your pinpoint serve, whatever it might be. But how cool would it be if you could add resistance to those moves? So let's get to it. This bag was sent to me from Reynolds Resistance. I've been following them on Instagram for a while uh, and they recently reached out to me to see if I would like to test out their products. And um, of course I said yes. So in this bag, I believe is the gravity belt. Now let's open it up. Okay, so this bit appears to be the belt itself. We've got an ankle strap ankle strap number two and then we have these bungee cords these bungee cords are used for different purposes you can attach from your ankle to the belt which is going to force you into a low athletic position and create resistance when moving these bungee cords come in different lengths, so if you want to add more resistance or if you have shorter legs, you can use the shorter bungee. Equally, you have a longer bungee for taller players or if you want slightly less resistance. And I believe this long cord is to connect to the back of the belt, which will allow you to clip onto a fence or a net post so that you can use lateral resistance as well. So I'm going to put this kit on and show you how it works. Let's go. So it's no exaggeration when I say that the gravity belt is brutal, but in a great way. I normally have pretty good workouts with my slinger bag, but that was the toughest session I've done by far. When I was actually doing the exercises, I felt pretty slow around the court. And the amount of resistance that I felt through the gravity belt shows how unathletic my ready position normally is. It really did force me to get much lower on my shots. And any time I used my legs to drive up into the swing, it added resistance. You can probably see how slow I look in this footage. And surprisingly, I'm not usually that slow. But the great thing was, as soon as I took them off, it made a huge impact to the way that my 
legs felt. They felt feather light and I felt much quicker around the court. Hopefully you can see that in this footage. When I first put it on, the belt was super comfortable as were the ankle straps. However, as soon as I clipped the bungee cords to the ankle straps, you felt the resistance instantly. Initially, it felt a little bit awkward to walk. You might have seen me walking a bit funny with very straight legs. It didn't take me long to get used to it. Straight away, I was in a much lower, more athletic ready position, which is exactly what I want from my tennis. And if I'm working with a player who needs to get a bit lower, this is definitely the tool for them. As a training tool, I would say that this is probably not suitable for complete beginner tennis players, but for for anybody who wants to improve the speed of their footwork, their overall fitness, or their explosive strength, then this is a great way to do it in a tennis environment. You're able to practice your normal footwork patterns, your normal movements with added resistance, so you're only going to get stronger. For me, I have very limited time on court, and when I do have time on court, it might only be 20 to 30 minutes. So I wanna get as much out of that session as I can. And by adding resistance, I'm gonna get a much tougher workout in that short period. The hitting session that you just saw was my very first time using these, but I've actually used them with two of my players I'll pop the footage in here now the reason I've used these with players already is these players in particular could do with using their legs a little bit more within their strokes not just for getting low in their athletic ready position but also using their legs to get more power into their shots as soon as the players put these on it put them in a much lower more stable position allowing them to get good body weight transfer from side to side and back to front the other option you have with the gravity belt is using this really long bungee strap with a handle at the end and what you do with this is you clip this to the back of the belt and you'll have a coach or one of your hitting partners holding the strap at the end rather than adding up and down resistance it's adding more lateral resistance allowing you to move from side to side or forwards and backwards with resistance from behind this can really help to develop more explosive movement around the court. I'm going to be using this strap a lot more with my junior players as I have more control over how much resistance I put onto it. As I mentioned before, the bungee straps come in two different sizes. I used the longer ones. The shorter ones would have added a lot more resistance and would have been a lot tougher. But I imagine they'd be great for junior players or players that are slightly shorter to give them the resistance they require. I know that these sorts of things have been around for years, but this is the first time that I've really seen a high quality product that's designed with tennis in mind. Usually these products are made out of normal resistance band material like this sort of thing which in my opinion aren't going to be anywhere near as durable as these bungee cords although i've only used it for this session and with a couple of players the overall quality is amazing if you look closely you can see that this material is high quality and where the bungee cord meets the clip is very very tough durable material the only thing i would say about this is if you've got hair on the back of your legs as soon as you stand upright it pulls against them so it's a really good reminder to get you low into your ready position what's also really good is the quality of these clips you can see that they snap in like so very very quickly and very easy to open up which is really needed as after a minute or so of using the gravity belt you want to relax your legs so unclipping them as you go to pick up the tennis balls is vital as far as the quality of the belt goes this material is very padded and it's quite a thick material so it's really comfortable around the waist and with these different connectors you can see you can actually adjust the resistance in smaller gradients if you want to keep the longer bungees if you want to make it slightly tougher you can change the clip that it's on to make it slightly tougher here or even even higher up the back. Obviously I went for the easiest setting because I'm pretty slow around the court at the moment, but I could instantly feel the improvements in my footwork as soon as I took it off. So that was my review of the Reynolds Resistance Gravity Belt 2.0. If you've got any questions about it, hit me up in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be making a lot more use of this kit with myself, but also with my players. I'll be filming lots of footage of me using different drills and testing it out. And these are all gonna go over onto my Instagram channel. So if you don't follow me over there, head over and do so now. Reynolds Resistance have offered my subscribers 15% off if they use the link below. So if you're looking into getting one yourself, hit that link and get yourself 15% off. Thanks as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Take care.